2013 IPC January ranking. And a man who's used to gold. He already has two gold here this weekend at the World Championships. This is from Russia. Leader of the January 2013 IPC. Silver in Vancouver of a short distance event. This is Roman Petushkov going for his third gold medal here. Three for Russia so right now, again. Knossen trying to squeak in there in fourth right now after 2.5 kilometers. And watch out, here comes uh, the two-time gold medalist this week. Another top-ranked Russian. This is Roman Petushkov. Let's see what he can accomplish in the range. So one miss for Petushkov. That will cost him a 150-meter penalty lap. 2.5 and now, kilometers. Korniko, Wagner, Rozhek. And our last starter of this morning for the men. He was the IPC Athlete of the Month of January. He was uh, our bronze medalist in the cross country 15K, sixth in the Vancouver 12.5K biathlon event. Bronze in Vukati, winner in cable, and uh, really working hard to be part of the And Kubo is perfect in the firing range as he hits. Kuzo is uh, Kuzo Kubo is five for five, meaning that he is still in the running here for 13, a 08 is his time. Now coming. The winner from Cable, Wisconsin. He was second after five kilometers. What will it be for a perfect day in the range? Kozo Kubo, second. Oh, five tenths of a second only behind Grigori Murigan is Kozo Kubo. Oh, so close. So close for Kozo Kubo. At the Cable, Wisconsin event, where we had some of the top skiers in the world, Kubo, Masiello. Ila Ludinov, Kuznetsov were all there, part of that uh, day. Now Grigory Murigin. Murigin, uh, the bronze medalist of our sprint event on the first day of uh, competition. Let's see how he fares here in our first biathlon in 23rd place, not where he wanted to be. And watch out, our first women to cross the line here. Here we are. Coming up, uh, Marta Zenulina. And watch out, we uh, may have missed Andrea Eskow's Romaneva. arrival. The 10K a... gold medalist from Vancouver, also on course. Zenulina uh, from Russia, already on course. Konovalova, and now Anya Vicker. Fifth in uh, this event in uh, Vukati earlier on this year. Sixth this week in the long distance event here at Soleftio. And fourth in the spring. Anja Vicker now for Germany. Settling into the firing range. Have Eskow up on the board, but that will be scratched. Yorkovska, Zenulina, Pavlenko. One, two, and three right now. Here comes Anja Vikar, third. So Anja has just squeaked by 
And that will be second because that uh, score being short here by, showed here by Anya, Eska. congratulations on the silver medal today. How does that feel? Oh, it, it feels exciting. Um, I'm speechless, actually. I can't believe it just yet. I think it needs time to sink in. <laughs> yeah. It was a fantastic race of you today. How was, how was it on course? Did you, did you expect you could win a medal? No, never. Not in this field. Not, no, I didn't expect it at all. But on the course, it went really good. I didn't expect that. At, at the shooting range, you never know if it's this windy. And yeah, it went great. Yeah. So for the rest of the World Championships, do you have any more goals? Oh, I'm just happy right now. And I, I try to give my best in the, in the last few competitions. But right now, I'm just happy. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Enjoy it. So the German is now on course. And now the great Olena Jurkowska, winner of this year's event in Vukati, silver medalist of the 10K in Vancouver, gold medalist at this event in Torino at the Games in 2006, and also a silver medalist in Salt Lake City. As she has the best time right now for 2Ks, an 8.8. We'll get a time for... Konovalova soon as she completes a three laps of that 150. That's, uh, I think is there because we do not have a time for a four kilometer marker for Andrea. So that it will be a uh, default uh, result right now. So Marta Zenulina, but here comes Olena Yorkovska and posting uh, the new best time of 21.17.3 3 right in front of Marta Zenulina. So we had at the 4K. Olena, congratulations for today's race. How was it on the course? Хорошо. Замечательно. Не считая одного умаха и поломанной палки. А так все хорошо. The race went smooth uh, despite uh, I made one missed shot and broke one pole. Besides this, the rest was perfect. So, after the first two races, um, they, well, how were they for you? После первой гонки я отдыхала два дня. То есть с новыми силами отдохнувшая сегодня выступила. After the first cross country race, I had two days of rest, so I had time to relax and get uh, all the strengths together. So today was a very good day because uh, I could feel the power. And now what do you expect for the rest of the World Championships? I don't like, you know, to look ahead, to predict something. We'll see, but I hope for the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, thank and getting the sound, Ia Repchuk, our bronze medalist from yesterday's long distance 20K event in cross country. And going for another medal today here on Soleftio. Another Ukrainian skier here. This is Grigory Vovchinsky. Two second, uh, 26.2 uh, seconds behind. Vladislav Maestrenko is a 31.8 seconds behind. In third, Kichi Sato is still fourth. And Silchanka, Sierice Silchanka is in Fifth place, that's at the 5K mark for the men. Second uh, uh, shooting. Uh, firing as he dropped it to fourth. Grigory Vovchinsky now just coming through 21 31 1. He was perfect in his second round of firing. 27.6 out of Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, and now training out of the Canmore Nordic Center. Canadian Mark Arens. Alors, Arens de l'Ile du Prince Edward, originalement, s'entraîne maintenant au centre. De Canmore avec Robin McKeever, son entraîneur. Penalty loop.
And there we go, Arends perfect. Second time through here. 0.5 K free technique. Here he comes, having to give it all he has. The time to beat for him, 21-31-1. That's the factor time for Grigory Vovchinsky of the Ukraine. As Arends comes over the line, it will be a time for him of 21-11-7. So Mark Arends wins the men's standing 7.5K short distance biathlon race here in Soleftio, Sweden. So Mark Arends followed by Grigory Vovchinsky by 19.4 seconds and Io Reptiok wins the bronze in the 21.58. A very close race for uh, Arends, Vovchinsky and Reptiok. Alors voilà les résultats. Arends, Vovchinsky et Reptiok dans cette... But uh, Ota has passed Vo Varona and Lyashenko that were in front of her. Let's see. On a, a uh, shortcoming of uh, one of these uh, ladies here, she could maybe be on the podium. However, it's going to be very close because right there, Alexandra Kononova has just posted the second best time. So this nice. is the final moment for Mark Arends. Does he have the power as he's being cheered on by his coaches here to pick up a world title in the men's short distance 7.6? And here comes Anna Milenina. Kononova was a full 57 seconds slower than Bantenkova. Anna Milenina comes in with a time of 19.35.3. Good for second place as the only... Alors pour Davier, deux ratés. Short distance, uh, free technique, standing men's event at the 2013 IPC Nordic Skiing World Championships for live from Soleftio, Sweden. Going by right now, number 66, that's Ludmila Lyashenko. But Ulya Bantenkova has just come through in a time of 18.54.6. That is a full minute and 20. Julia, congratulations on your gold Thank medal. You How does it feel? How do you feel? Wonderful. I didn't even know what happened. I was so fast, I didn't even get up. It was so fast, although the wind was blowing. But I was very happy with today's victory. I'm grateful to all the trainers and all the trainers. I'm very happy to give me this victory. I'm very happy to give me this victory. I feel great. It happened so fast. I even hadn't, uh, didn't have time to understand what, what is going on. But I'm so grateful. Thank you to all the coaches. Thank you to everyone who helped. Uh, thank you to the heaven that it made uh, happen. And I'm just happy. How was, how was the wind today? Was it difficult for you to shoot? Как ветер сегодня, дело было тяжело стрелять. Ветер сегодня сыграл мою пользу, потому что когда я приходила на рубе стрелять, он утихал, и когда он начинался, я его ждала, когда он пройдет, и он проходил, я сразу стреляла хорошо и быстро. The wind was on my side today. When I uh, lay down to shoot, it stopped, so I could shoot easily. Uh, if I could feel that it is windy, then I just waited a little bit, so it just went perfectly. Thank you very much and Thank congratulations. You. Thank you very much. Now, silver medalist from 2011, Vasily Shapsia boy. Belarus with Mikhail Lebedzu, his guide. Will be uh, Vasily Shapsia boy, followed by Oleg Ponomarayev. So for Shapsia boy, it's a time of 22:10, and that may be enough to uh, win a uh, bronze medal here today or silver. Let's see what will happen over the next few meters. 
to Anatoly Kowalewski of the Ukraine because it was a very tight battle between those two men as they came through here. So we uh, have nobody uh, in the firing range, so we can give you some information right now. Uh, Anatoly Kowalewski, this guy, Alexander Mushkin. Mushkin, I should say. So once again, for these uh, skiers, it is three laps of a 2.5 kilometer lap, two uh, shooting uh, passes after the first lap and so these. right now Vasily Shatsio boy coming in a full minute faster at the 5k mark for Belarus which is 16 13 9 and don't forget he at the kilometer 2.5 was a fourth so clean at the second time through the range Kovalevsky here perfect on three had zero misses on his first time through the uh, range. And there we are, he is clean once again. Kovalevsky, uh, uh, looking as we just saw Yuri Utkin come in and putting his foot over the line. There we go, Anatoly Kovalevsky, who's been second throughout this race, is now uh, across the line. And we have to wait to see what will happen to Nikolai Polukin, who has been and who has... As we will have our first skiers into the stadium coming up very soon. There's uh, right again, right now, Nikolai Polukin with his guide Andrei Tokarev and uh, Hawken Axelsen and Markus Femling. Are as Alexei Toropov, but right there, Vitali Lukayenko has uh, scored a 8.191, so that's 8 minutes 19.1 with a perfect shooting uh, his first time through the range, and he has a 7.9 second lead on now Polukin, who uh, 2.5 kilometers into the race was in second place. And he's firing four for four right now. Five for five for Polukin. So he is now just going to motor to the finish line. Will be his as time. Will this be enough for a victory today as he crosses the line? And there you go, world champ Nikolai Polukin and his guide Andrei Tokarev take it from Anatoly Kowalewski and his guide Alexander Mushin and Vasily Shapsia boy. And uh, his uh, guide, Micha. A 106 now to the finish line. Or is it 105? I'm sorry, that's 105. So this is Elena uh, Remizova. Difficult day for her out on the course. And oh, look at this. She has skied her heart out and has made it into third place. Whoa, we didn't, weren't expecting that as she was a, a distant fourth uh, on the last lap. And despite those misfires in the range, she has squeaked in to a bronze medal position. So another Russian sweep here in uh, this event of a short distance biathlon, free technique. So Lysova, Budalieva. This is Mihalina Lysova. And there we go, Nikolai Polokin has taken the lead. He is a full 37.4 seconds faster than Kovalevsky. That means he's picked up uh, easily 33 seconds over the last 2.5 kilometers on Kovalevsky. And there we just Here in Soleftio, and it is a uh, very interesting uh, battle here between Budalieva and Lysova. Just a question of what is the final time that will be on the scoreboard because Mihailina Lysova will be the women's 6K world champion in biathlon in a time here today of 18.35.8.
Yulia Budalieva will be silver medalist with a time of 1932.3. So there we are. Gold and silver, world champion once again here this week, Mialina Laisova of Russia. Mihalina, congratulations to your gold medal. How does that feel? Спасибо большое. Чувствую себя хорошо. Золото, я очень рада. Ну, последний огневой рубеж немного не удался. Thank you very much for congratulations. So it's gold and it's I'm very happy, but the last shooting shooting was not so good. Was it because of the wind? Может быть, это потому что из-за из-за ветра? Нет, ветер на нашу стрельбу никак не влияет. Просто быстро зашла на на огневой рубеж. So, but wind is not a reason. So just I was very quick before the shooting. So looking ahead to Sochi, since you're from Russia, what are your goals for the Paralympic Winter Games next year? И так как следующие паралимпийские игры будут в России, и ты россиянка, какие твои цели на Европе? Цели как больше завоевать золотых медалей, желательно шесть. So the the goals are to win the medals, the gold medals, preferably the six ones. Wow, thank you very much. Congratulations again.